Hello, it is Plora. Thanks for joining us again and welcome to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at the Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. If you haven't watched our previous video, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at the richest men in Africa. The reason we are looking at this particular man, some of them came from grace to grass and most of them have impact in their communities that they operate into. And they are role models in a variety of ways and we thought it wise that we should be able to review that their, their success might rob and also impact millions around the world. Without any much delay, we should just go straight into it. Africa is a continent brimming with creative and ingenious mind, contributing to a vast business ecosystem in sub-Saharan African region. The continent is home to several countries with fast-growing economies and also in the global scale. Many young, ambitious Africans are setting out to write their own stories and leaving remarkable legacies with creation of enterprises that will transform Africa and rekindle its economies. African mean business, and over the years, it has seen the emergence of a number of mega corporations, most of which are run by foreigners. For instance, Anglo Gold Ashanti, the world's largest gold producer, is led by Mark Futani, an Australian, Safaricom, East Africa's largest telecommunication provider is run by a Guyanese man, Bob Coleman, and CEO Graham McKay, an American, run the world's largest beverage maker, Sabla Miller. Now, a bold and fearless, ambitious group of African men and women are taking the reins on Africa's businesses, building pan African companies with regional and sometimes global presence in a variety of ways and shaping the economic future of the African continent through their resolutions and actions. So we shall be looking into this. So here are the 10 such very important, influential and successful Africans who again, against all odds, have made it very big. It surely was not an easy pursuit, but with determination, hard work, resilience and strong uphold of their own principles, they were able to prevail. Number one. Jason Joku, a Nigerian. He is the founder and CEO of, of, of Iroko Partners and Iroko TV. He's a net worth of just over 12 million US dollars. The secret to his success is that he's got tenacity in the biggest reason for his achievements. He sport an idea, he said, makes a plan and runs it really big. He said that don't hang around waiting for things to happen. He said that you just need to learn from your mistakes and keep true to your own vision. It has a com complex quote that it normally says that I make more mistakes. He said he's made a lot of mistakes and also have good choices. He's also saying that uh, many also savings time. You don't have to wait until uh, your particular time is. He says that you should need to move forward and make the better choices for you to be able to enhance those challenges. You're going to be learning along the line as you make those numerous mistakes. Number two, Mark Shutterward, a South African. He is the founder of the Knight Capital. His net worth of just over $500 million. The circuit to his success, he said, he, he likes to surround himself with people better than himself in one aspect and bring all those talents together to create super solutions. He's also said that he is a visionary who is very potential or patient and both ready and willing to lose money if it helps comes to, to change his industry in a few ways or in the years to come. His big quote is that a big part of uh, willpower is having something to aspire or to something to also live for. Number three, Mike Macharia is a Kenyan. His status is that he is the founder and CEO of Seven Seas Technology. His net worth of over 11.2 million US dollars. The secret to his success, he said, link African problems with monetary value and persistent. He said that never give up because all things are not rosy. Business and entrepreneurship has its ups and downs. Keep this in mind and fight for it. Normal quote he normally say is that life is not always smooth sailing, not even those considered to have made it, but it is a bump bumped along the way that will make one to perform better in the next instance. In the face of all those challenges, passion what keeps you going. The next on our list of very inspiring and rich Africans is Aligo Dangote, the Nigerian. He is the owner of the Dangote Group. 
is worth over 13 billion US dollars. The secret to his success, he said that self-sufficiency and manufacturing strategy, rather than entering new markets via acquisition, focus on building it from scratch with unique with unique ability and also quality, then compete with existing players. It is an approach that is generating wins for many companies. Its normal quote is that do not kill the competition. Competition is healthy for business and it keeps you, you will be the entrepreneur onto your toes. The next competitor in our list here in Africa is um, South Africans born uh, Nikki Oppenheim. Nick Oppenheim is a businessman and philanthropist. He's worth over 7 billion US dollars. The secret to his success says, believe in Africa, be down to earth, forget emotions, reinvest, know the art of recovery. His normal quote is that I am a great believer that if you know how to operate in Africa, there are unbelievable opportunities. The next in our list in rich men is Tanzanian born Mohammed Gulumbabas Dawi. He is the president and CEO of Melt Group. It's worth over 1.5 billion US dollars. The secret to his success says it is all about hard work. I put the hundreds of hours a week. It is never a stop a stopping game. You can never say I have worked hard enough now. The normal quote is that people in Tanzania look at my worth and think I must be sunbathing and playing golf all day, but I work really hard. The next on our list is Michael Adenugi Abolade Ishola Adenuga Jr. with a Nigerian. He is a business tycoon and is worth over 5.8 billion US dollars. The success to his uh, secret to his success says vision, hard work, dedication, patience, commitment, risk, and reclusiveness. Uh, it's the backbone of his success. The normal quote he used is the, hard, the harder you work, uh, the luckier you get. And the next on our list is, is Isab Rebrab of Algeria. He's the CEO of uh, Sevitar. He's worth 3.4 billion US dollars and the secret to his success is hard work and determination with a little risk taken. A normal quote he uses all the time is that think big, start small and move fast. The next on our list is Michael Kojo Essien, a Ghanaian. The state is a professional footballer and his net worth is over 90 million US dollars. The secret to his success, he said, is determination and constant progression in his football career. What he normally uses is that, yes, I am aggressive and there is nothing wrong with that. I am determined about one thing, I won't change my game. And now, the, the next on our list, which is the last but not the least, is um, Mohammed Hussein Ali Al Amadi is Ethiopian. He's a businessman worth over 10.3 billion US dollars. The secret to his success says, I make a personal commitment to the direction and success of all the programs in which I invest. I make all philanthropic decisions myself after taking account of an of all range of experts' opinion. The normal quote he uses is that there is a natural link between the effective running of my business and the effective directions of philanthropic funds. I apply business principles of my philanthropic work and also so that maximum value is given to the courses I support. Success is not for selection group of people. You too can be successful with a clear spelled out and defined vision. Discipline yourself, prepare for resistance and setbacks and never give up. Pursue with your passion until you are attain 100% completion of your vision. Do not let the achievements of today keep and deter you from reaching out for the achievements and success of tomorrow. Sefas Numi Hazin, a successful African entrepreneur from Rwanda in East Africa, says, says to be successful is to do what you know. And Justina Navar of Namibia says to believe in yourself or believe in your ideas for a passion is what you are doing only come if you believe in the ideas yourself. Many young Africans entrepreneurs and successful men and women do not have it all but they took their beliefs passion commitment determinations and hard work coupled with it the vast resources african has to offer made the best of it njoku for example mohammed adolawit 
Michael Essien and other numerous successful Africans have proven it. It not utterly impossible for Africans to make it big in their own particular continent. This way, the number of rich Africans we've provided to you with regards to the passion in what they do, I will put down the list together for those whom we consider to be, um, that is, the richest men in Africa that we believe have done some impact and they are role models in their own community. Um, we hopefully that uh, we've informed you in that particular area. If you feel there is an African who have made a lot of impact in your own community and you feel that we haven't included them in this particular list, we would like to hear from you from the comment sections. If you are joining us for the first time, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and share our videos to your different network. For now, thanks very much for watching and have a pleasant day and have a good day too. Bye-bye.